over hundreds of millions of years, the surface of our planet has been carved, expanded, and sculpted into the stunning place that it is today, with awe-inspiring natural wonders that you have to see. Join me for today's video, because here are 15 of the greatest natural wonders of the world. Number 15. Plitvice Lakes, Croatia Covering an area of 115 square miles or about 297 square kilometers, the Plitvice Lakes National Park is one of the largest parks in Croatia and, because of the region's stunning beauty, was made part of the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1979. It's within the mountainous area that lies at the center of the country, and because of the way the natural limestone bedrock has been eroded over tens of thousands of years, it's covered in amazing geological features. The park that attracts more than a million visitors a year, however, is the network of cascading lakes, 16 of which can be seen at the surface and are connected by streams and waterfalls and are separated by travertine dams, ranging in color from azure to deep green, gray, or blue, depending on the particular algae and plant life that grows in each lake. The waters appear to change through each day as the sunlight beams from different angles. This beautiful setting also supports a range of wildlife species that are rarely seen elsewhere and makes the park an important site for conservation too. There are, for example, European brown bears, gray wolves, eagles, owls, wildcats, with a total of around 50 species of mammals, 12 amphibians, 157 birds, and 321 known kinds of butterfly. Number 14. Mount Kilimanjaro Measuring 19,341 feet or 5,895 meters above sea level, Mount Kilimanjaro is not only the tallest peak in Africa, but the highest freestanding mountain on Earth. As part of the Kilimanjaro National Park in Tanzania, the dormant volcano actually has three distinct cones, which are known as Mawenzi, Shira, and Kibo. The first eruptions at the site have been dated to around 2.5 million years ago, with the most recent taking place between 150,000 and about 200,000 years ago. But the continual presence of lava means it's possible that one of the cones could become active again at some point in the future. For now, though, it's become one of the most dominant landmarks on the whole continent. And since the last ice age has had a continuous ice cap that covered a region of around 150 square miles, or 400 square kilometers, when it was at its largest 12,000 years ago. Now, after receding significantly over the past century, it just covers about 0.6 square miles or 1.7 square kilometers, and due to climate change, all of the permanent ice is expected to have disappeared within the next decade, which will result in a wildly different looking peak than is seen today. Number 13. Great Barrier Reef, Australia Off the coast of Queensland, Australia, is one of the largest natural structures on Earth, the Great Barrier Reef. Made up of an estimated 2,900 individual reefs, featuring 900 islands stretched out across 1,400 miles, it's one of the most important and biodiverse regions on the planet, covering an area of 133,000 square miles, which is so large that it can be seen from space. It's almost unbelievable how many animal species are supported by the reef, with 30 species of cetaceans known to visit, such as humpback whales, blue whales, and dolphins, as well as more than 1,500 species of fish, 17 species of sea snake, 6 species of turtles, 215 species of birds, 5,000 types of mollusk, and around 125 sharks, rays, and chimera. Forming the reef are more than 400 different species of coral, with a further 2,100 species of plants on the islands, and the Great Barrier Reef is one of the only places you're ever likely to see a large proportion of these. It's truly a gift to the world, and there's evidence of a human presence in the area from as far back as 40,000 years ago. Unfortunately, however, a combination of pollution and global warming has caused large swaths of the reef to die off and it has noticeably shrunk in the past few decades. If things continue at the same rate, it's feared that there will be very little of the entire reef left within a decade or two, which will have huge ramifications for the oceanic environment worldwide. Number 12. Pamukkale, Turkey There's a place in southwestern Turkey that's so mystical, strange, and healing, it's been visited by people for many thousands of years. Called Pamukkale, which translates to mean Cotton Castle, is a series of travertine steps that have formed over millennia, where carbonite minerals have been released from thermal spring water and solidified to create an almost cloud-like landscape. 
In all, the formation measures 8,800 feet or 2,700 meters long, 1,900 feet or 600 meters wide, and 525 feet or about 160 meters high. It can be seen from the other side of the valley that it looks out across, which is more than 12 miles or 20 kilometers away. But despite its stunning appearance, that's not why people have traveled there since the times of the ancient Greeks and Romans. Instead, it's the spring waters that form the snow-white limestone terraces that's the draw, as it collects in 17 main pools around the hillside that range in temperature from 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius to 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 Celsius. Said to offer medicinal properties, people swim, drink, or collect the water. The health benefits were believed to be so important that the ancient Greeks even built an entire city at the top of Pamukkale to harness its benefits. Called Herapolis, it has long crumbled, but its ruins and the Pamukkale Formation are now protected as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Number 11. Victoria Falls, Zambia and Zimbabwe Located on the Zambezi River on the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe, Victoria Falls is one of the largest and most spectacular waterfalls on the planet. The formation isn't actually the tallest or widest, but the combination of its width and height means that it's regarded as the biggest waterfall system of all, measuring 5,600 feet or 1,700 meters across and 354 feet or 108 meters high. To put this into perspective, this is more than twice the height and twice the width of Niagara Falls and produces the largest sheet of falling water that you can see anywhere on Earth. The time of year that you see the falls will dramatically change their appearance. During the dry season, for example, a number of islets become visible that break up the flow of water, with larger parts of the actual rock faces and gorges below becoming visible. But to see the waterfalls at their full might, the best time to see them is during the wet season, when the floodwaters gush into the river. At this time, the spray can on occasions reach a height of 1,600 feet or 600 meters and can be seen from more than 30 miles or 50 kilometers away. Number 10. The Sundarbans, Bangladesh Wetlands around the world are some of the most important natural habitats of all, and there's one that's far larger than the rest. Called the Sundarbans, it stretches between the Belswar River in Bangladesh to the Huli River in India, and is made up of closed and open mangrove forests, mud flats, and open land, and is where a number of rivers, tidal streams, and floodplains form. Across the region, there are, for example, more than 3,900 square miles or 10,000 square kilometers of mangrove forest. And since large areas have been protected after being declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site, there's almost a complete ban on the capture or killing of the 290 species of birds, 120 species of fish, 42 mammals, 35 reptiles, and 8 amphibians that are known to rely on the habitat. Possibly the most famous animals to call this place home are Bengal tigers, with around 180 believed to live in the Sundarbans, which are one of the largest populations anywhere. It's the only mangrove ecosystem where tigers can still exist, and it's where the true potential of these amazing creatures can be seen, where they swim between the mangrove islands and climb the canopies in search of deer and boar with countless other endangered species too, such as gangetic dolphins, northern river terrapins, and several species of rhinos. Sundarbans is undoubtedly one of the most important ecosystems in the world, and one that should be protected for generations to come. Number 9. Wuling Yuan, China The Wuling Yuan Scenic and Historic Interest Area, which is near the Chinese city of Zhangjiajie, is one of the most awe-inspiring natural regions anywhere on the planet. Covering an area of 266 square miles or about 690 square kilometers, it's covered with more than 3,000 quartzite sandstone pillars and peaks, which were formed around 350 million years ago by a combination of tectonic activity and water erosion. Most of the pillars are at least 660 feet or 220 meters tall, with the highest being almost five times that, and visitors are able to access some of them by a network of cable cars and staircases. As well as the pillars, there's a vast network of gorges, ravines, streams, lakes, rivers, and waterfalls, as well as 40 caves featuring large calcite deposits and a natural bridge called Tianqia Shenkong, which is one of the highest of its type in the world. It's said there are as many as 560 attractions to view in the area, and that's before you count the endangered species, such as the Asiatic black bear and the Chinese water deer that live there. 
It's also home to one of the world's largest glass bridges and said to be the inspiration behind the landscape in the Avatar movie. Wulingyuan is truly one of the world's most spectacular natural wonders. Number 8. Uluru, Australia Located virtually in the center of Australia, around 208 miles or 335 kilometers to the southwest of Alice Springs, Uluru is not only one of the most recognizable landmarks in the country, but in the whole world too. It's a sandstone formation that was created over thousands of years as the surrounding land eroded away and the main structure raised up from the ground by tectonic activity. While it is a separate structure in its own right, there are several others in the area that were the result of the same events, but Uluru stands out by far as the most impressive. Measuring 1,142 feet or 348 meters high and with a perimeter of 5.8 miles or 9.4 kilometers, it's almost like an iceberg on land, with the vast majority of its rock structure being buried beneath the surface. One of the most amazing things about it is that it actually seems to change color throughout the day, particularly at dawn and sunset, when it appears to glow red. With evidence of human presence in the region from as far back as 10,000 years ago, Uluru has become an important part of local beliefs, where it's said that the rock was formed by the original creators, and it's still home to the spirits of dozens of these ancestral creator beings. Number 7. Cliffs of Moher Island Stretching for around 9 miles or 14 kilometers of coastline in the Burren region of County Clare in Ireland, the Cliffs of Moher are some of the most stunning coastal formations in the world. Originally created more than 300 million years ago and then continually eroded by the ocean ever since, they reach a maximum height of 702 feet or 214 meters near the midpoint. The cliffs offer a unique combination of modern and historical interest. Currently, they're home to more than 30,000 pairs of birds from 20 different species, including Atlantic puffins and razorbills, as well as colonies of gray seals, dolphins, basking sharks, and sunfish in the waters below. The cliffs are also a remarkable view into the past, as they were formed so long ago, where the ocean has carved the rock, river channels that were created 300 million years ago can be seen, and because the region used to be covered in soft clay-like material, a large number of animals were trapped and entombed, and can be found now as fossils. Worm trails indicate the presence of species that haven't yet been discovered, and burrow marks have also shown the presence of marine animals that we don't yet know about. Number 6. Salar de Uyuni, Bolivia In southwest Bolivia, near to the Andes mountain range, there's a huge area that was once covered by a lake that's now the largest sand flat on the planet. Salar de Uyuni measures approximately 3,900 square miles or more than 10,000 square kilometers in size and was formed when several prehistoric lakes evaporated at the same time around 40,000 years ago. This meant that all the minerals contained by the water were deposited on the ground, and this is why it's covered with such a flat salt crust that only changes in elevation by less than a meter or several feet across its entire span. When it rains, the salt flats get covered in a thin film of water that turns it into the largest mirror on the planet, which is 80 miles or 129 kilometers across. But beyond its beauty, the true riches of this region lie beneath the surface. Under the salt crust is a pool of brine that contains extremely high levels of rare elements like sodium, potassium, lithium, and magnesium. It is believed to be where 7% of the whole planet's supply of lithium is located, which means there will be intense debate in the coming years over the preservation of Salar de Uyuni and the increased mining of the site for valuable resources. Number 5. Ha Long Bay, Vietnam With a name that means Descending Dragon, Ha Long Bay is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that lies off the coast of Vietnam. Covering an area of around 600 square miles or 1,500 square kilometers, it's filled with thousands of limestone formations, including 2,000 small islands. The region has developed to be like this over the past 500 million years, with a tropical climate for the most recent 20 million years, and the result is a biodiverse and evergreen biosystem that's home to 60 animal species and 14 flower species that originated there and the scenery that's often voted as some of the most breathtaking in the entire world. 
Humans have lived in this area for tens of thousands of years, and over the past few hundred years it's been a popular tourist site for those looking for a tropical getaway and the chance to explore the unique limestone caves that are scattered across the islands. Despite there being so many formations, only around 40 of the islands are inhabited, with a total population in the bay of no more than 2,000 people. But despite this low permanent population, there's a surprising number of historical monuments, such as religious statues in caves that are hundreds if not thousands of years old. Number 4. El Yunque, Puerto Rico Throughout the United States, there are 154 designated national forests within the national forest system, but of all of them, only one is a tropical rainforest, El Yunque in Puerto Rico. Found on the slopes of the Sierra de Luquillo Mountains, El Yunque covers an area of almost 44 square miles, or 113 square kilometers, and is split into four distinct regions. The Sierra Palm Tree Forest, which is around 1,900 feet or 600 meters above sea level, is made up of mainly Sierra Palm trees, while at a height of 2,500 feet or up to 900 meters, the forest is mainly Palo Colorado trees. Also, between 600 and 2,800 feet or 2 to 900 meters, part of the forest is made up of Tabunoco trees. And arguably the most important part is the dwarf or cloud forest, at a height of around 3,000 feet or 900 meters, which is where the trees only found in Puerto Rico grow. The forest is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Puerto Rico, partly because of the trees themselves, partly because of the archaeological ruins from ancient civilizations that are dotted throughout, and partly because of the various species of animals that are native to the region. Number 3. Mount Everest, Nepal, China Of all the peaks on the planet, the highest by a considerable distance is Mount Everest. A part of the Himalayan mountain range, it reaches a height of 29,031.7 feet, or 8,848.86 meters above sea level, and the border between Nepal and China runs through the tip of the summit. The mountain and the range around it formed as the result of the Indian and Asian tectonic plates colliding with one another. But that doesn't mean Everest is simply made up of one type of rock that was thrust upwards. In fact, geologists have determined that there's actually three distinct sections that make up the mountain. The first part is known as the Jomolungma Formation, which accounts for the upper 800 feet or 250 meters, and is made from limestone and dolomite that contains evidence of microorganisms, particularly those that once lived in oceans. The second section, known as the North Coal Formation, makes up the majority and the distinctive part of Everest, between a height of 23 and 28,000 feet and surprisingly mainly consists of yellowish-brown marble that dates back to around 500 million years ago. Finally, the lowest section, called the Rongbok Formation, below 23,000 feet or 7,000 meters, contains igneous rock that's a mixture of quartz, feldspar, and several other compounds, and was formed around 20 to 24 million years ago when parts of the Indian tectonic plate melted as it moved beneath the Asian plate and was then forced upward. Number 2. Caño Cristales, Colombia Hidden deep within the Serranía de la Macarena province of Meta, Colombia, lies what's arguably the most spectacular river on Earth, called Caño Cristales. Amazingly, it was only first discovered in 1969 by a group of cattle farmers and has since been found to be a tributary of the much larger Guayabero River. But because of the unique geography of the land on which it's formed, it takes on a unique characteristic a wonderful display of colors. It just so happens to be surrounded by three wildly different ecosystems, the Andes Mountain Range, the Eastern Llanos, and the Amazon Rainforest. The quartzite rocks that the river was carved from have meant that the water is unusually fast-flowing and has created small circular pits along the riverbed. The combination of the fresh meltwater from the mountains, the flora and fauna from the rainforest, and the river structure have meant that a wide variety of aquatic plants are able to thrive in Caño Cristales, and these give the river its colorful appearance. The plants cling tightly to the rocks where the water flows the fastest, and the higher levels of oxygen they're exposed to is how they're able to grow so well. What's surprising, though, is that despite the surrounding land being ideal to support a number of different animal species, the river isn't, and there's no known fish or amphibians in it. Number 1. The Grand Canyon, United States 
When you think of the incredible natural landscapes of North America, there's really only one place that surely comes to mind, the Grand Canyon. While it may not be the deepest canyon on Earth, its sheer size makes it by far the most spectacular and one of the greatest sights on the planet. Formed by the Colorado River as it and its tributaries carve through the landscape of Arizona, the structure is 277 miles or 446 kilometers long. It's up to 18 miles or 29 kilometers wide at points and reaches a maximum depth of 6,000 feet or about 1,800 meters. It's believed that the river first established its course through the region around 5 or 6 million years ago and has since then eroded so deeply into the bedrock that it's exposed nearly 2 billion years worth of geological history. From studying the different strata of rock, it's possible to learn a lot about how conditions have changed over time, such as when oceans were present to deposit material, when volcanic activity blanketed the region with ash and blocked the river, even how world temperatures have changed. As well as being of great scientific interest, the canyon has long been inhabited, with evidence suggesting that some of the earliest human cultures living in North America made it their home around 3,000 years ago. Because of its rich history and the fact that President Roosevelt thought so greatly of the place, the Grand Canyon was the driving force behind the creation of the National Parks Association and was designated a national monument in January of 1908. It finally became the 17th National Park in 1919 and has been legally protected ever since, meaning that mining and development are highly restricted, something that's been pretty contentious with industrial entities because of the presence of large quantities of valuable materials within the rock. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.